Hey everybody, it's some random dude the fourth and let's play Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we defeated Deep King Agnol, and now we're gonna go ahead and catch some shadow Pokemon that we missed previously. Now, chances are, unless if you are extremely lucky or extremely anal or both, you probably missed some shadow Pokemon along the way to here. And, in order to help you find the shadow Pokemon that you missed, we go to our snag list. Now then, I've already explained to you what the coding and the snag list means, but the ones that we've missed so far are Sneasel. Moving on down. Metagross. And Houndoom. Now then, Houndoom and Metagross are in Reglum Tower. But however, first we're gonna get that Sneasel. Because that Sneasel is the one that I can get out of the way. Well, probably not very fast, but... I have the general idea of where that Sneasel is. Now then, generally, um, Shadow Pokemon will be at the places that they were be originally located. Any Cypher Peon Moron Shadow Pokemon will be at Snagum Hideout with the Cypher Peon Moron thing where they drop down, except for at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, which they will be in the same spot as where they were at Shadow Pokemon Lab. Uh, I already, sh I already explained where uh, Raikou, Suicune, and Entei, as well as uh, Shuckle and Sudowoodo would be. So, uh, and there are other ones that have been moved. Uh, I already shown you Crocodile, Bayleaf, or Quilava, and where they're at. Um, so let's see. We want to go to the Snagum hideout for Sneasel. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now then, you'll want to catch all the Shadow Pokemon that you have missed up to this point. Because if you don't catch all the Shadow Pokemon, you can't get the last Shadow Pokemon. You have to catch the other previous Shadow Pokemon first. Now then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Ryder Nellis, who has Sneasel. I'm pretty sure she's somewhere in Snagum Hideout. So I'll meet you guys there when I find her. Aha! I found you now. She'll be one of the people blocking the way, just like the chick that had a uh, pile of swine. So, let's battle her and get that Sneasel. I'm on a treasure hunting journey, but seeing you here takes all the fun out of it. And the door is knocking. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Random house guest showing up. So, anyway. But yes, here is the Sneasel that we have all been waiting for. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use Hypnotop to use Triple Kick on Corsola, and then I'm gonna use Surf. Hopefully that won't kill it. Hopefully. It shouldn't, but can't take any chances. And experience for everybody. And a Viper. And Sneasel's using Screech! On Quagsire. And lowering its defense. And we're using Surf. Sweep. From Joyzy. And Viper is hit for a little bit of damage. Sneasel is hit for halfway done. And I'm going to use him on top to switch out. To send out. Well, actually, I think Quagsire can handle a uh, Viper there. So I'm going to use Hitmontop to. Actually, yeah, I'm still going to switch out Hitmontop because I'm going to send out Altaria. And Quagsire is going to use Mudshot on Viper. And Sneasel uses Shadow Rush. Sorry, I was failing that episode, but I won't be failing this one. Am 
my dog is making noise in the background, scratching his butt. And so Viper has died. And we gain experience for it. And we have a Loudred. So, Altaria is going to use Sing on Sneasel. Quarksire is going to switch out for him on top. interrupted like crazy this episode before my dogs barking and people coming over or both and strength all right so from when I saw I saw I saw a sneasel I thought I saw a sneasel I did see a sneasel but anyway Altaria is gonna use that didn't work Altaria is gonna use sing again and then Himatop is gonna use triple kick on loud red and it missed again and triple kick once, twice, and three times. And Loudred has died. Surprised I haven't become an ex-Loud yet, but that's not the point. More experience. And so Sneasel uses Icy Wind. It hits both Pokemon, and our speed decreases. Try singing again. And use agility. And it uses Shadow Rush. Good grief. I'm not gonna fail to you again. And sing. And it works. Yes. Sneasel has fallen asleep. I'm increasing my speed. So, Altaria is going to use... Wrong direction. And Ultra Ball. On Sneasel. And then I'm going to increase my speed again. Time to catch the Sneasel. Once. Twice. Three times. And it didn't catch. Crap. Well, I'll just increase my speed for no reason. Sneasel's fast asleep. And do the same thing again. Gonna use an Ultra Ball. Uh, Sneasel. Then I'm gonna use Agility. Alright, let's see if this works. Once. Twice. Three times. And it works! Second attempt, we caught Sneasel. Haha, -ha. that's what you get for mocking me, however many episodes ago that was. And Nellis was defeated. Maybe I'll go right off farther. Maybe you will. Sweet. I caught a Sneasel. Awesome. Uh, so now, now that we caught Sneasel, Let's head back to the let's head to the Regulum Tower, where the next two and last final two Shadow Pokemon are. Everybody, and we're here at the Reglum Tower. Now then, 
I'm gonna show you guys something because I don't have time for the challenge. However, I do need to show you something just in case. If you didn't know this. Now then, let's say you met whoever you chose, say if you chose Verde like I did, and but did not manage to catch Bayleaf. Well, that guy is right here. Welcome, it's been a while, hasn't it? You don't recall who I am? It's me. We met quite a while ago in Phoenix City. Yes, that is right. Whoever you met originally, if you did not catch a shot of Pokemon, they will be met here in the casino. My name is Verde. You may not remember me, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. You snagged my bay leaf back then. Yeah, you remember now? Well, pal, today is today. It's payback time. And so, Cypher, Peon, Moron, Verde would like to battle. Which is Spanish for green, and not green for Spanish. And this sends out a Grumpig. And a Muck. As for us, we have him on top. And a Quarksire. And Intimidate lowers your attacks. I say we should use Dakim tactics. So I'm going to use Detect. And then I'm going to use Earthquake. And Earthquake. And Grumpig is dead. And Muck is also dead. Well, I managed to kill both of those quite easily. And gain experience for both. Really? That was it? Okay, I win. Cyberpan Moron and Verde was defeated. Blast it! I can't lose again. You just did. Now give me your money. And thus he will disappear. And he'll have a shot of Pokemon that he had with him at that time. Alright everybody. Uh, I know it's going to be kind of a short episode. Because with all the editing, I'm up to 14 minutes actually. But with all the editing, it's probably going to be like 10 or so. But, I don't have enough time for the regular Coliseum challenge. I'll have to do that next time on next episode of Pokemon Coliseum. This has been some random dude the fourth. And this is me saying, see you later and God bless.